Hey guys, my name is William, and in today's video, we're going to do a local insurance agency SEO audit. That's right, we're doing a local insurance agency SEO audit. So hey guys, my name is William, and in today's video, we're going to do a local SEO audit for an insurance agency. If you would like for me to audit your website and send you over any of these audit reports done for you, just comment below and I'll do so. If you would like maybe my SEO audit spreadsheet, comment below and ask me for it and I'll give that over to you. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So this is a local SEO client for a smaller area, <clears throat> smaller city. And we're gonna take a look at it. Overall, the website's decent. Um, you have a sticky header, which I love, and if you've watched my videos enough, you know I say always, always, always have your menu follow you when you scroll. One thing you need is you have your get a request quote button here. I can't stand sliders like this mainly because they're purposeless. They look good and all that, and people like them, but they do you no good as far as SEO. On top of not doing you good for SEO, they usually hurt your core vitals and page speed, stuff like that. That being said, I want your call to action instead of here, right? I want it here, but I also want it up here in the top right-hand side. Why? Because when people scroll, I want it to follow them. So anytime they're scrolling, I want that button to follow them, right? Overall, I love the site because it's got call to actions everywhere. Get a quote, get a quote, you know, stuff like that. You have your phone number. It's click to call. Awesome. Great. Now, as far as your H1s, your H1 above the fold, in my line of vision, should be your main keyword, which is home insurance or insurance agency in your specific city. You don't have that. All right, so we want to look at that, and you're targeting all of Pennsylvania, but you're located in one city. You want to target that one city, get ranked in that one city, then expand out into other cities with maybe additional websites targeting each of those cities. All right, one thing I don't really get is the website is for Pennsylvania, but it says right here your insurance agency is in New Jersey. Maybe I'm missing something, maybe I'm not. But I don't want to get that fixed, all right? Overall, the website looks good, simple. You got all your pages. If you went to your services and I clicked on auto, it's basically here to collect information. There's really no content. You need content to rank. You wouldn't need that much because you're in a smaller city. 20,000 words or so should be about relevant to what you need. But overall, if I look at your website, it's mainly built to collect leads. That's it. The only way that type of site will do you good is are you doing pay-per-click ads? And if you're mainly focused on pay-per-click ads, then don't focus on SEO. I know that's wild having an SEO guy tell you that, but just just a fact. That's just how I look at things. Um, so overall, you need content. I mean, really, that's the biggest thing I'm going to tell you about this site. You need content. You need your Google Maps embedded on the website. You need your Google reviews embedded on the website. There are several things you need, but you mainly need content. You have no content. It's pretty much almost like a one-page website with the exception of a few of these other ones. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and pull up these auto reports anyway so we can go over them. You have 101 issues or errors. Your issues are mainly info issues, no errors, no warnings. Um, I'm not really concerned with it mainly because I would check it out as far as restrictions and things, make sure it's nothing crazy or anything like that. But you're not going to really have any errors because you have no real website. It's mainly a one-pager website or a landing page, if you will. Um, but that being said, on your scan report targeting insurance agency in your area, which is Devon, Pennsylvania, 
you're not ranking anywhere except for right on top of your location. That being said, you have a long way to go. You know, your average ranking position, if you look at it right here, is number 16 in the maps. Not good. No calls, no clients. You're missing out. You're leaving money on the table. What we want to do is we want to go over to these insurance agencies and look at them and say, okay, what are they doing different than I'm not doing? So I tend to go over, let's say, for example, this one. We'll go over to this website, take a look at it. We'll go over to, you know, if you will, let me go back to the report real quick. We'll go over at Ingalls as well and take a look at their site. I just want to take a look at a couple of them, kind of give you a gist of what I would do. <clears throat> So they're, you got to think of it this way. They're in the top three. <clears throat> they're in the top three for a reason. You don't know if it's content. You don't know um, if it's backlinks. You don't know what it is until you actually look at it. And most people fail to actually look at stuff. And that's where I come in and I go, all right, what are these people doing different than I'm not doing? All right? His website's not too great. You know, but the thing is, you could look at it and say it doesn't look good. It's not that great of a good looking website. But now if I clicked on any of his pages, he has pages built out for every single service, right? So what I want to do is I want to go, okay, what is he doing that I'm not doing? Number one, he has content. You know, content. He has additional pages. He has YouTube. His YouTube videos are optimized, okay? He has a full, complete <clears throat> website, right? If we look at how many pages does he have, let's see if we can pull that information for you real quick. Yeah, so I can't pull it, but let's see if it's anywhere else. There we go. It's right there. So in his site map, you can see <coughs> how many products he has, how many quote pages he has, how many main pages or his foundational content he has, such as claims, adjustment, careers, uh, insurance claims, how much. It has his blog, his blog post. So I know already this guy's beating me, so I want to duplicate whatever he's doing. So I literally will duplicate every single one of his pages, every single one of his keywords, and go after the same keywords, the same information, right? I rewrite it, of course. I want to write it based upon what, <clears throat> in my own words, my own structure, my own images, everything. But he's doing something right. So I look at it and go, okay, this guy's got hundreds of pages. I make hundreds of pages. I make a lot of content just like him, right? I do in my internal linking just like him. That being said, once I do all that and I start ranking, I could easily rank you in that area in three months or less. <clears throat> I'm going to send this over to you. So in your specific area, it costs you $750 just in SEO. Now, if you don't want to write the content and you want someone like me to write the content, me and my team can write the content for you. It's $25 per 500 words, and you're going to need about 20,000 words of content. We write that for you. We create the whole page structure, keyword research, everything, get you ranked. And then we get that geo grid from the red into the green, meaning it dominates the three pack. I hope this video helped you. Once again, if you'd like for me to audit your website, just comment below. Say, hey, Bill, William, can you audit my website? Or, hey, can you drop your SOP for SEO audits? And I'll give you my spreadsheet even. I'm going to email you these reports along with this video over for you. If you would like my assistance or my help, just contact me, reply back, and I'll gladly help you. Once again, you have a great day and be blessed. <music> So many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody, now I'm at the top Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners and haters